Hello again. I'm working on the topic of compound interest, uh, which later turns into um, E if you compound it continuously, which is pretty cool, which deals with natural logarithms. But I want to use this kind of like an intro to that. So I got this problem where I have $1 and I invest it in a bank that pays 100% interest. That's never going to happen. Uh, for one year, how much will I receive uh, if it is compounded yearly, monthly, or daily? And the example, uh, the number, the answers vary a little bit. So let me go ahead and show you really quickly. These are the answers, by the way. Two if I uh, compound it yearly, 2.61 if I compound it monthly, and 2.71 if I compound it daily. I don't hold any illusions that I couldn't do these two without a calculator. The first one you can do without a calculator easily. So A is basically uh, going to be the total answer. I suppose that stands for annuity. Uh, P is the principal, which is $1. Parentheses, one, because uh, it's an exponential growth problem. We start with 100%. Uh, we assume that it's going to stay at least at 100%. Uh, plus, now, the R is very interesting. The R is the rate. And if I want to find the rate, which happens to be 100%, I just take the percent and I divide it by 100. 100% 100 divided by 100 is one. Well, no big deal. But if this were 80%, then it would be 80 divided by uh, 100. Excuse me, 100 divided by 100, I hope I said that, is one. If it were 80%, I would take 80 divided by 100, which comes out to 0.8. So if you ever want to figure out what your R is, just take the percent and divide by 100. In this case, it's 1. Uh, N stands for the number of times I compound it. So um, in the first example, if, I, if it pays yearly, or if I want to know how much I get after one year and it compounds yearly, well, uh, that only happens once. You know, I compound it every year and I only kept it in the bank for a year, so my N is 1. My n is still 1, and my t stands for 1 year. And there you go. Uh, if you want to simplify that, 1 times 1 is 1. Bam. Uh, what I tell my students to do if they do this in the calculator, very important. I tell them to do this first, 1 divided by 1, which is 1. Then add it to this, which is 2. Then take 2 to the first power, which is 2, times 1 afterwards, which comes out to 2. Bam. Finito. That's how much you get. Now if I switch it up, 1, 1 plus... 1 over, if I compound it monthly, well, how many months happen in a year? It's 12. And my n is 12 times 1. Okay. When I tell my students to do this problem, I tell them, do 1 divided by 12 first, then add 1, then take it to the power of 12, then multiply by 1. And your answer varies slightly. It's $2.61. If you compound it more often, you get more money. Uh, hence, if you compound it continuously, you get the most, but it's not that much. It's like 2.718 which is 2 points. Yeah, maybe something. I don't know. It's, it's whatever E is. I can't remember E off the top of my head. And in this one, it's $1, 1 plus, my rate is 1, divided by, now if it happens daily, there's 365 days in a year, close parenthesis, and it's uh, 365 times 1, because I'm doing it for a year, it's still 365. I take 1 divided by 365, figure that out, then I add 1, figure that out, take it to the power of 365, figure it out, then multiply it by this number in the front, which comes out to $2.71. And uh, it's a pretty cool application. It, it uh, gets to E and natural law, etc. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's my example there. Hopefully that was helpful. Have a good day. Goodbye.